All right, y'all, welcome to the workout. We're gonna do a four minute metabolic warm up, and then we're gonna go ahead and finish up our workout with a few circuits. We're gonna start off, of course, with a 20 second run in place. Let's go. We have Bianca performing the exercises and the workout for you today. She's gonna work out hard. She's gonna get a good sweat with you. In a quick transition, remember, through all these warm up exercises, focusing on the form. Five more seconds, going right into up downs. Three, two, let's tap those toes, slight bend on the knee, full extension, jump in the air, good job. Good, <clears throat> keeping those knees slightly bent again, full extension up in the air. Awesome, we're halfway there, we're gonna go right into some butt kicks. Nice job, Bianca's moving quick here, five more seconds, three, Two, let's go right into some butt kicks. So we want to stay light on the feet, strong in the core, shoulders are back, staying really strong. Here we go. Good job, good job. If you can't do these in a running type of fashion, all you want to do is just drive those legs up, try and kick the butt, just in a little bit slower pace. Good job, get a good side view here. Three, two, we're going to hit a squat to twist. We'll have a side view here. We're going to do a big squat, twist across, right to left. It helps to keep the arms in front when you're doing these. Of course, you wanna drive back with the hips on the squat. Notice how Bianca's leading with those hips. All of her weight's going through her heels. On the twist, the leg's coming straight up. The torso's doing the twist, all right? You don't wanna drive your leg in across the body. Here we go, three, two, switch it up to high knees in place. Let's go, get them up. So the high knee's a little bit different than the run in place. All you wanna do differently is lean back a little bit and to really get those knees driving up, get the heart rate pumping, core's working strong, staying light on the feet. Five more seconds, dropping right down to hands and toes. Three, two, she's stopping early, don't stop early. Hands and toes, right to right, left to left. Here we go, mountain climbers, here we go. Right to right, left to left, good. So just slow pace down, slow the pace down. We wanna just come in left to left, right to right, slow pace, leave the leg in the air. Good. Good job, here we go. We wanna focus on keeping the chest directly over the thumbs, the shoulders are back. Good, there we go. Here we go, three, two, we're gonna switch it up to push-ups now, drop into the knees, we wanna lead with the chest. Shoulders are back and down, get a good pace going, good. Notice how her head is not jutting forward, her shoulders are staying strong, belly button's in tight. We wanna watch for a couple things in the push-up, just like I've mentioned in other videos. You're gonna make sure that your head is not leading the movement. We got five more seconds, and the lower back's not swaying a lot, all right? Here we go, three, two, let's bring it all the way back up. We're coming to squat position. We're doing the squat to twist again, right to left, left to right, let's go. Good. So we're moving a little bit too fast on here because we're seeing some rocking. So we wanna slow down, get a big squat all the way back and twist across. It's good we're doing a couple of things uh, incorrectly so we can, if you're doing them, you know what corrections to make to really get the most out of the workout. Here we go, three, two, back down to mountain climbers, hands and toes, let's go. So we wanna slow the pace down on the mountain climber for a couple of reasons. You wanna make sure and hit the correct muscles and you wanna make sure and do this form correctly. All right, so if you see yourself swaying a little bit too far back, you wanna make sure to move the body up. There we go. Shoulders are strong, let's go. Got it. So you wanna focus on keeping this body really flat and straight. Awesome, three, two, let's bring it all the way back up. We're gonna alternate reverse lunge. We'll have a side view again so you can see the 90 degree motion through the front leg, working all the weight through that front heel, good. Awesome. So you wanna watch a couple things on these lunges. You wanna make sure this front knee is not going too far forward. Ideally, you just wanna try and keep it close to 90 degrees. Awesome, three, two, high knees in place. We've got two more exercises for this warm up. So on the high knees, we're getting those legs up, shoulders are back, core is strong. We're gonna finish up, really getting that heart rate up because you'll get a little break before we start circuit number one. 10 seconds, finish them up, come on. Good, 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 last five. Hitting some up downs, we're taking a break. Three, two, awesome, tap toes, big jump in the air, hit it. Good, full extension, really driving those arms up, reaching for the sky. Finishing up, here we go. Last 10 seconds, all you got, heart rate's getting up, you got a little break, good. Bianca's working hard, keep up with her, almost there, three, 
two, awesome, quick break, coming back for circuit number one. Welcome back to the circuit number one. We're gonna start off grabbing those dumbbells. We're doing a plie squat to overhead press. Let's go ahead and face to the right here. Big squat down and we're pressing up top. All right, let's keep those four, uh, palms pointed forward. So it really helps drive those shoulders back and down. Good. Again, the biggest focus is our weights driving back through the heels, leading with the hips. Nice strong core in the middle. Notice the upper back staying really straight and strong. Good squat. Focus on 90 degrees, getting as low as you can. Five more seconds, we're gonna alternate reverse lunge. Three, two, let's keep the weights at the side. We're gonna alternate reverse lunge, focusing on 90 degrees to the front heel. Again, you wanna just tap that toe down and knee goes straight down, focusing on the posture up strong here. Hips are engaged back. All the weights going through the front heel. Nice reverse lunge here. Five more seconds. Gonna drop down to push-up position. Three, two, let's drop those weights. Push-up position. We're doing a push-up where we lead with the chest. And as we come up, we're lifting the right arm. Push-up, lifting right. Awesome, now we're gonna lift the left after every push-up. So push-up, lift, push-up, lift. Good, remember on the push-up, we wanna focus on not leading with the head. We're always leading with the chest. Staying strong in the middle. Five more seconds, we're bringing it up. Got it, three. Two, let's grab those weights again if you can. We're going back to our alternate reverse lunges. Going from upper body to lower body here. So grab the weights if you can. Straight down, good. If you feel any instability with these, drop the weights, give those a shot. If you're still being unstable with these reverse lunges, go ahead and get by a wall or some type of stable object and finish off your exercise. Five more seconds, going back to plie squat position three. Two, awesome, we're going back to plie squat with press again. Driving back with the hips, big press up top, let's go. Good job. So again, if you feel your knees bowing forward, you wanna shift, uh, you go a little bit wider stance, perfect. And then you can really focus on driving the motion back with the hips, all the weights going through the heels, upper body staying really strong up top. We've got eight more seconds here, finish up strong. Good press. Good, full extension with the press. Make sure you got some weights that are challenging those shoulders. Three, two, awesome. Alternate reverse lunge. Keep the weights if you can. 90 degrees to the front heel. We got a good quick transition through each exercise. We're going body weight lunges on these. Totally fine, feeling that stability. Working the core, believe it or not, with this exercise. Posture staying nice and strong up top. Good, we got five more seconds. Perfect, three, two, push up position, push up with the lift, push up with the lift, let's go. Good, as your arms, upper body starts getting tired, if you feel yourself leading with your head, you wanna not go as far down. Again, focusing on the form with this, it's the most important thing. Pretty soon you'll get stronger when you do the exercise completely correct and you'll be able to go all the way down. You'll eventually be able to perform these on your toes. So if you can do them on your toes now, have at it, just make sure and watch that form. Three, two, let's pop it up, alternate reverse lunge, it. circuit will be over, let's go, drop it down. Grab the weights if you can, go body weight if you need to. Even further than that, if you're still feeling unstable with the body weight, come by the wall, finish it up with there. Good, so notice how she's stepping back, she's finding her center, stabilizing, and then she's dropping the knee straight down, making sure all the front muscles are working strong. Last one, three, Two, let's take a quick break. Circuit number two coming up. Nice.
Welcome back, we got circuit number two. We're grabbing those weights again. We're gonna work some biceps and some triceps on this, starting off in the plie squat position, doing a bicep curl. So let's big squat down and curling up here. So the big focus is again, are we fully extended as we go down? That's a good adjustment. And driving those hips back on the squat. Good job. So you wanna make sure and keep the weights in the center to really, you don't uh, destruct the hips, uh, the knees here when those weights are in the middle, making sure the hips are going back. Good job. Just going back, back, back. Awesome, we got five more seconds. Going overhead tricep extension, three, two, good. We're going behind the head. We can grab two weights or one weight on this. Let it drop all the way down. So if you have two weights, both of them will be going as far back as you can, and we're driving them into the ceiling. With just one, it's the same motion, same thing. You just wanna make sure you get a good grip that you're working both triceps at the same time. Good, straight up. Five more seconds. Drop into mountain climbers. Three, two, let's drop that weight. Hands and toes, mountain climber position. Neutral spine, straight body. Chest directly over the thumbs. Got a couple of things you wanna watch for on this is uh, the lower back, you don't want it to sway. If you see your butt, notice your butt starts coming up, that means you're not really engaging your core much. So you wanna take a breather if you need to and keep going with the exercise. Good, five more seconds, bringing it up with those dumbbells again. Three, two, let's pop it up. We're going overhead tricep extension again. Two or one weight, just make sure you're challenging those triceps. Good, good shoulder width stance here. Arms are staying tight into the head. Flat part of the dumbbell, flat part of the ceiling, strong in the middle. Got it. Straight up, all the way down. There we go. Five more seconds, we're grabbing two weights for the next exercise. Three, two, grabbing that second weight, back to plie squat to bicep curl. All right, so we're full extension with the arms. A little bit further than the shoulder width with the legs. Perfect. Motion's leading back with the hips. Good job. So you can generally go a little bit heavier on the bicep curl type stuff. Again, you just wanna make sure you get some challenging weights and push through the exercise. Good, feel the burn here, finish it up. Last few seconds, one more, three, two, got it. Let's go overhead, tricep extension. One or two weights, back, back, back. Got it. So you'll see a slight curve on the lower back. You don't want a very excessive one, but you also don't want to, you don't want to start leaning forward with the hips. We got a good posture here. Just keep going with this. Five more seconds, dropping down. Three, two, let's drop that weight. Mountain climber position, chest directly over those thumbs, body staying straight. Good job. Remember as you get tired, if you're feeling fatigued, upper body, take a little breather if you need to. Finish up the exercise, get a stretch back if you need to. There we go. Just wanna make sure and keep good form because you'll get strong really quick. You'll be able to do a lot of different variations of these. Let's go for five more seconds. Coming up for the last exercise of the circuit. Three, two, let's bring it up. Overhead tricep extension again. Finishing strong here. Let's go all the way back. Good. So a couple things you might do on these. We're doing a, she's doing a good job of letting it drop all the way down. If you go short motions here, you're not getting the full benefit of working the entire part of the tricep. Let's go for five more seconds, finishing strong. Got it, three, two, good job. Circuit number two done. We're coming back for the last circuit.
Welcome back. We got burnout circuit number three for this workout. Grabbing the weights, we're starting off with a plie squat to overhead press. So we're gonna perform all the exercises that we did. Good. Let's go quick transition throughout these. Plie squat with overhead press. Good job. She noticed her knees were bowing forward just a little bit too much. Adjusted with a little bit wider stance. Now we're getting that complete hip motion all the way back. Everything's driving through the heels. Good strong core and upper body. We got about five more seconds. We're gonna switch to alternate reverse lunge. Three, two, let's switch them up. Alternate reverse lunge. You can keep the weights, you can drop the weights, whatever you're comfortable with. Most important thing, you wanna focus on 90 degrees whether you have weights or not. And you wanna make sure that you're very stable with these. So posture staying strong. If you have any instability, you're putting pressure on the knees, you're not working your core, you're gonna take a lot longer to get stronger. Five more seconds. Got it, three, two, push up position. We're gonna do the push up with the arm lift, alternating arms as you come up. Let's do one push up, right arm up, perfect. One push up, left arm up. If your upper body's struggling, you're feeling that fatigue, you just wanna slow down. Make sure that your head is not leading the motion. The back of your head's even with your spine. Good, the lower back's not swaying. Taking a good amount of time to lift the arm. Make sure there's not a lot of shift in weight. We got five more seconds. We're bringing it up, grabbing those dumbbells. Three, two, got it. Let's bring it up, grabbing the weights. We're going overhead tricep extension. So again, we can go two light weights or go straight one as heavy as you can. Again, most important thing is you want to feel the challenge on the triceps. If you're not feeling them, make sure you go just a little bit heavier or grab that extra weight. Let's finish strong. Here we go, 10 more seconds. All the way back with the dumbbell, flat part of the top into the ceiling. Got it, three, two, let's grab two weights. You're doing a plie squat with a bicep curl now. Wide stance, rotating the feet out, regular plie squat, dropping down in the middle, full extension with the arms, getting a good bicep curl. Drive those hips back. Very good, very good. Notice a really strong, straight upper body. I point these things out a lot, so you make sure every time, sometimes you just wanna, you'll get fatigued, you'll get lazy with some of these, and your body will start shifting one way or the other. You gotta be really conscious of your form, especially in the beginning. Five more seconds. Got it, three, two, hitting mountain climbers. Let's drop those weights. Mountain climber position, hands and toes. The big focus is the chest directly over the thumbs. That generally keeps the body really straight. So if you feel yourself compensating from that, take a little break, get a breather, make sure you readjust the form to where it's very effective. Almost got it, eight more seconds. Couple more exercises, you'll be done. Let's finish strong here, last five. Get a couple more, awesome, three, two, bringing it up, grab those dumbbells, plie squat to press. One more exercise and we're done. So let's finish up really strong. This big press up top. Good job. So again, as the workout progresses, the fatigue starts setting in, the form sometimes wants to compensate. So you're gonna be very aware of the form, still getting a good rhythm, still challenging weights. Awesome, eight more seconds, here we go. Good, last five, a couple more reps for you here, three. Two, last exercise, going overhead tricep extension again. Keep the two or go to one a little bit heavier, good. Drive it straight up. The weight that she has doesn't matter, the weight that anybody else has doesn't matter. You wanna find your weight that challenges you in also taking into consideration the amount of other stuff that you've done throughout the workout. You won't be as strong, but you still wanna make sure you're challenging yourself. We got five more seconds, finishing up here. There we go, three. Two, awesome, circuit done, workout done. Awesome workout, y'all.